we're experiencing some times of anxiety. The governor of our state, Georgia, has opened it up, and many people are apprehensive about it. There's an anxiousness. But the proverb writer gives us an answer to it all. Let's listen to what he says. Proverbs 12 and 25. Anxiety in the heart of a man causes depression. But a good word makes it glad. Well, what is the proverb writer saying? Yes, all of that we're experiencing can push us down. Make us feel blue. Make us feel low. Make us feel like there's no hope for us. But guess what? The word of God provides that hope. Listen to what he says. He says, but a good word, not just any word. So let's drop the O out of good and say a God word makes us glad. And each time we hear, read, or even meditate on the word of God, that spirit of depression, that spirit of being down, that spirit of being blue will leave. It'll go because the word of God lifts us and helps us. Listen to what the psalmist says. I will hide that word in my heart that I might not sin against God. And as a result, you and I can live a happier, glad, and if you will, anxiety-free life. By listening at the word of God. Can I encourage you to do that? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we know in these times that we are in now, unlike any other, men and women, even boys and girls, are having that feeling of anxiety. But we thank you for your word. Because your word says, we can cast all of our cares, all of our anxieties on you because you care for us. That's the good word that we have. And so, God, I pray in the name of Jesus for every man, woman, boy, or girl who may be at this moment feeling that sense of cares and the weight of the world. But we believe that you are a burden bearer, our heaven old sheriff. You're the one. That makes the difference in our lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For giving us a word. At this very moment. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And we can be anxiety free. When we hear. The good word. The God word. That he gives us.